what is up you guys welcome back to my channel naturally brie and if you're new here thanks for stopping by and if you don't know i have started my lock journey i'm about two months into my journey and today i just decided to um interlock the back of my hair because I haven't talked about this much, but my nape area is my weak area. It always has been for years, which I spoke about in my last video. So I was in the shower and then it started to, I felt like it was gonna unravel. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and interlock my hair. So I decided to pick up my camera to show you guys. And this is not like a tutorial or anything. I'm literally just decided to do this and just decide to grab my crochet needle and decide to interlock the back of my hair because I keep experiencing unraveling because this hair is so much more weaker and thinner in the back and it's a different texture. It's more of a straight texture and finer because that is my weak area and my nape area. So I'm gonna, and I started these with all braided um, braid locks so all of these in the back are plaited, they're braided, so I'm just going to interlock them because doing it the traditional way of me just palm rolling like I was trying to do them before, or just retwisting the roots without interlocking it, it was not working out. So I'm just deciding to interlock the back. And I'm not due for a retwist yet, but I would need one in about two more weeks. But I'm still just gonna go ahead and I just randomly just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and interlock the back of my hair now. So probably in about, when it is time for a retwist in two weeks, I'm not gonna touch the back since I already done it. I'm just gonna leave the back the way it is. So honestly, this is not, like I said, it's not a tutorial, so I'm not gonna be telling you guys how to do it because I'm just, I literally picked up my crochet needle and I'm just going different directions until I feel it get as tight as I think that I want it, but not too tight because I don't want it to, um, you know, damage my hair. So I'm just taking another one and I'm just doing the same thing and I'm just going in whichever direction I feel necessary or have many times I feel necessary until it's to the tightness that I feel is okay. The locks in the back is much more smaller than the rest of them, which I'm fine with because no one's gonna see my nape anyway. And if I do have it pulled up, it's not gonna be that noticeable, but I had to do them much more smaller than the rest of my head because like I said, it's my weaker area and shorter back there. So if I did them any bigger, it would not have um, stayed at all. I tried to do them big the first time, which I had to take them out and redo it when I first started these locks. So making them smaller was definitely necessary. So basically I can't explain, I'm just taking the crochet needle and I'm putting it on the end, closing it on the ends of the lock and just pulling it through. Just like as if you were crocheting braiding hair, I'm just doing it with my own hair and I'm just going in whichever direction I feel necessary until it gets to the tightness that I want. And I'm just gonna keep doing that for the rest of this area in the back only. I'm not interlocking any other parts of my scalp, just only my nape area. So guys, I just wanted to show you guys that and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.